adding automatic balloons. So we can add uh, balloons automatically to a component of a selected drawing view. So we're going to go up and we're going to go into our annotate tab. We're going to go over to auto balloon. And in, in auto balloon, we're going to pop up a dialog box. So it says select the view set. So I have to pick the view first. I pick that. And then it says add and remove components. This will be highlighted automatically. So I go around and I pick on the edges of my components. I just pick on components. I start just picking these components. I'll pick this, I'll pick that. And so I pick the all, the, all that I want. And then I come over to placement. I decide where do I want the placement to be in a vertical line, a horizontal line, or all around it. I'm going to go with a vertical line. And then I'll select the placement of that vertical line. So I'll come over here and just place these balloons. I'll place them up a little higher than this. I'll go bang and it'll point to all of them. And uh, I can actually come down in here and override the balloon shape. I can pick different styles of balloons uh, if I want to. So I can override that and pick that I want a circular two items or I want a hexagon, etc. And then when I'm done, I can hit OK. And it will populate then all of those particular uh, numbers of the components. So it identifies each one of those components. And uh, so I could actually come in here and say, well, you know, I could uh, label these two as well. Uh, so I could come over here and do those individually. And so I can do more than once and I can do multiple views as well. Uh, so this is... Uh, adding automatic balloons.